how to record a perfect guitar loop in Logic Pro X. So let's say you want a guitar loop to make a full song arrangement or a beat and you need to have it everything locked in in place so it seamlessly loops through the whole song. I have my acoustic guitar here and I'm going to record a simple guitar loop and then we'll use flex time, lock everything into place and then you'll see it's perfectly looped for the whole song. I'm Charles Klein. I'm an indie musician, singer, songwriter, and producer. So if you're making music, you're a producer yourself, and you're trying to get that music out in the world, then please feel free to subscribe to this channel because that's what all this whole channel is about. The first thing we wanna have locked in place inside Logic here, I have an empty template, and this is where I'm gonna record my guitar. We need the tempo because the, the more we can actually play in time, the, the better it's going to sound, right? Because that means we're going to have to move the signal less with flex time. So I have a locked in tempo at 90, and then I'm just gonna put my cursor anywhere here. I'm gonna set up record, and then I'm just gonna start playing this loop on my guitar. And until I feel like I got the right take, then I'm just gonna go with that one. So I'm just gonna do something like this. <laughs> Try that. Okay, so that last one I think was good. I'm happy with that. And now let's jump into flex time here. We'll cut it up and lock everything into place. Zoom in. I'm gonna type. I'm pressing Command and down arrow. Just gonna grow that out. Command and right arrow now. So I believe it was right around here where it started. Let's just check. Yep. So I'm just gonna cut in the middle here. And I have my scissors in the right click tool. So I can just go right click and cut. Now I have the piece I wanna work with. So I'm just gonna kinda of get it out of the way and click in on the root of the bar. So I'm gonna, whatever bar, whether it's 22, 23, or 24, I'm gonna get it going right on here. Okay, so I'm gonna now cut on 22. So now it just kinda of gives me a workspace because I know this is how like, I know we're doing a four bar loop, so I know I'm right within this area. Okay, so let's double click or press E. And this is gonna bring up flex time. You can see here's our position over here. And now I can go to press flex time with this little DNA symbol. We'll go turn on flex. So it's gonna analyze the transients for me. This is a fine of what it picks you. Automatic is fine, we can use this. And now what we want is to Go to each transient. The transient is like the biggest part of the signal. It's kind of like the first noise, the big noise at the beginning. So we can go and just click and knock it into place. And what I mean by knocking it into place means you see these nicks at the top. These are, this is the grid and everything in music falls within the grid. If this is off this, it's not gonna sound in time. And everything here, is based on our tempo of 90. So that's why tempo is so important. So now we want every transient on a nick. So at 22, we want this to start right at 22. So we want to have this right on that nick. So what I'm gonna do, because I see here I can't drag it any further, it's kind of blocking me there. Well, in order to fix that, I can go up here, click in, I'm just gonna extend it a bit more. I was a bit too quick in cutting that. So I'm just gonna give us some more region space. Now I can go in here, I can click and I made a marker on this transient and I can just drag this over to 22. Now it sits right on 22, bar 22, and that's what we want. And now I'm gonna go through it and just move the nicks to where it sounds best. So let me just, I'll kind of be doing this while listening to it with the click on. Keep in mind, we can go crazy and have everything locked in and push every transient where it fits. Or we can also have some natural human mistake here and there. What's important is you find a balance between like having make, making sure that everything seems in time. It's okay if it's a bit uh, delayed or a bit rushed here and there to give it a bit of human feel because the more we push these notes, the worse it's gonna sound and you'll, you'll, you might hear this. The important pieces though are right on the ones because we're playing in a 4-4 time. It's important to have 22 and 23, 24 and 25, making sure all those transients are in. So we can first start with that and just see what that sounds like. So let's go over to 23, 
click and drag, put that in place. And there's two really important things in flex time. If I just command Z that and do the same thing, you can see I'm moving all these signals to the left over. See, they're all coming with me. Now, if I do command Z again, if I go below, I have this three little markers. I can click that and this gives me the option only to move this one. It's created these two other markers left and right here, this one and this one. So nothing to the left of that and to the right of that will move. Now I can just focus in on that one. But because I haven't touched any of this yet, I don't really care that it's all moving over because it seems like in general, everything here was behind the beat a bit. So I'm gonna command Z. And what I said, I mean behind the beat is you can see this one here is behind this nick. This one here is behind this nick. This one here is behind this nick. It's all behind. So I'm just gonna click on top, drag it over, and it more or less already brings these ones up in front and puts them in time. So now I'm gonna to go to 24, do the same thing with 24, 25, where's 25? Here's 25, 25 is pretty much dead on. And actually you can see 25, the flex time didn't really put it in place. Actually I messed up by clicking and dragging on 25, where is it? There it is. Once I clicked there, it made a space and I don't want this space. So I'm gonna X this marker off and just leave it where it is. I'm not even gonna change that. And then 26, this is an important one because this is actually where it starts over from the beginning. So we really don't want this one in there at all. So we don't care that that space is here, there, because this note is not being played. We're gonna actually gonna go and cut that now. Press E to lower that. We're gonna go up here, 26. I'm gonna go right click and cut this whole thing and delete it. Then I'm gonna go over to the left on 22. Let's zoom in here because we're gonna cut it. We won't want to cut too much off. Let's cut that and see what it sounds like. So we'll cut it right on the bar and delete that. So now we have our region here and we should have a full loop that sounds good. Another way we can do it is just looping here, because you can see there's a bit of a gap, but it's pretty much okay here. We can just go to 25 and see right over it, how does it sound? Three, four, this is pretty good. That's how I go about creating perfect guitar loops in Logic Pro X. If you're an indie musician or a producer trying to make music, then please consider subscribing to this channel because that's what this channel is all about. I make regular videos like this. So I'd be happy to have you join and see you in the next video.